All right, so I'm going to try to keep this smaller so that maybe it is a better um, video quality. And I'm going to do number 10, which was the right triangle, the two right triangles within the, the larger right triangle. So the diagram of right triangle ABC, um, and you can see C is the right angle. CD intersects the hypotenuse. AD is 4, it's marked. DB is 6, it's marked. Which length of AC? So here we'll call that X. Makes it perpendicular. So, do, do, do. so remember, I grab a different color. This is the point of rotation. So this angle is congruent to that angle. And that angle is congruent to this angle. So if you want, you can redraw it. Um, so I'm going to draw, I always draw it like this, with the right angle here, one, two, and then this one's slightly larger, it really doesn't matter, one, two, and then here. So if we look at the, the one that is right here, A is where the one line is, D is the right angle, and C is here. And A to C is X. And that's a hypotenuse. I don't think we've done one of these. And then A to D is 4. Well, if you look in the triangle on the right, which is like the ones we've been doing, we only have the one side of 6. We don't have the hypotenuse, which is what we need to correspond here. So we're going to have to use the larger triangle in order to have the hypotenuse here. So if this is 4 and this is 6 all the way across, gives us a hypotenuse of 10. So in this picture, A is where the one line is, C, and then um, B. And then the other leg, AC, is X. So now we have the corresponding sides. So for the proportion, I'm going to do left, uh, whoops, not left to bottom, left to hypotenuse. So 4 over X equals left to hypotenuse, x over 10. Do our cross product, 4 times 10, 40, x times x, x squared. Simplify the radical. Uh, large is perfect square before, because it's 4 times 10. So x equals radical 4, radical 10, which is 2 radical 10. Choice 2.